closing my eyes yet again, I will see all these letters in my head, mixed with numbers and words I've just begun to really understand. My eyelids painted with an avalanche of diagnoses and unanswered questions, small print on old sheets, is all I have to compose my image of you from. Letters and old photographs dripping in negativity, weighing down in my hands, my fingers will still tremble. I can't seem to lose these pages no matter how hard I try. Crumpled and torn under my feet, they still stare at me and I can hear a voice I know I should remember as yours. And the smoke from your lips sinks into my veins, drowning me from the inside out like a diseased tree, taking up all the space I need to breathe, filling me with the pollution of your identity, rotting my ribcage till I can no longer support myself, concaving into this feeling of repetition. And all I can think is that your eyes are shaped like mine, but still, I haven't seen them in years. And they could have changed so much. Still, what if I start to see the world like you? While papering my mind, I see myself in your shoes, and it feels so inescapable. How am I supposed to believe it when it happened to me? And everyone says that you are your own person, and you make your own decisions, but it's a magnetic pull I'm afraid will throw me off the ledge of sanity into your arms. People shouldn't need to be afraid of their mother's arms. They should feel safe like the warm embrace of the sun, not the waves crashing against rocks that reach angrily to the sky. This is what I imagine your arms would feel like, because this is what mirrors feel like. But I guess you are the moon and I am the tide, because even from this far away, you still shake me. And I wish you would let me wash away all these pages and footprints you've noticeably left by my side, even without your company. And I've tried to learn history so I won't repeat it in the years that keep slipping by without you. And just like the oceans my eyes have shed reflecting the new moon's invisibility, I look in mirrors attempting to wipe away all traces of you on my skin. But nonetheless, I'm still afraid. All of these papers aren't just your face, 